Hello, Ryan Soprano. It is I, Ben Bush, looking at your stuff. All right. I'm just going to shoot from the hip, tell you what I see. Um, I would also recommend you sending this to John McCabe. Man knows what he's talking about. He taught it for years. Also, we're big fans of you, so we want to see you succeed. So get as much feedback as possible. Yeah. Okay. So, opening page. I dig the prototype, just not in this scenario. Um, man, I'd probably just leave this thing blank. Just show the Martian background and leave it because it, like, why are you show me a Martian background? Then you show me NASA. You have my interest. You call it the greatest road trip of all time. I agree with that. I was also right aligning these things so they line up here. Um, I also seem like these are different font families. So, I mean, you can use up to two different font styles, but then don't go no crazy. I would say 15 week build, six member team, right? Just keep the numbers in front. Also, focus of the, on the personal and hygiene interactions through human centered design. That's cool. I might actually, I might save that for the next couple of pages. I mean, you're starting to frame the problem uh, because, yo, it's a big road trip. You're talking about um, NASA, you're talking about outer space. You could go lots of different directions. So, you don't really have to tell me that just yet. Next page. Scope of everything. This is dope. I like this a lot. This one's a little bit more abstract. And keep in mind, I don't like reading. Uh, so the bold thing helps, but also the scope of everything. Goodness. Um, let me... I'm not going to read yet, and I'll come back to it. Cool. Not really sure if you can claim that. I mean... One problem I'm having is the, the size, right? I, I can zoom in on this guy. Oh, man, that's too much. Back out. I want this type of zoom in. Get out of my face. At this point, like, I can't, I can't read these. I'm sure it's super awesome information, but for me, I can barely read what they are. You're missing to Mars. Which really, like, it should all be in that type of style. If we're talking, like, everything is one visual package. Mission to Mars, you can get rid of that gray underline. It's not really helping you any. Two American males, one German female, one Japanese female. Sounds like a party. Also, what are the size of this thing? 500 days on Mars. What's up with these things? Um... See, I, I don't. Did I miss an SLS before? I right, keep in mind, normal people don't know what SLS is. I still don't know what it is. So you've got to. Well, the first time you say it, you've got to write it out. That way, so system support facilitator. Um, put it up here, and once again, we could do less with that. Let's keep. Let's keep what we have. Thanks. Cool. Um, all right. But must be able to fit four. Mission to Mars brief. Um, design challenge. Mission to Mars opportunity. Something. I mean, you're explaining like your, your context here and why it's a problem, what you're trying to solve. Um, six miles an hour top speed. Research of geological samples. I might put a space rock. Many of the functions on the rover will be automated by 2030. Okay, interesting. Wet wipes are most practical hygiene. That's fun too. Separate sleeping and work areas. Okay. I mean, this is by itself is pretty interesting. It's just if you if you're gonna show the image to the left, it's got to be you. It's got to fit in this style. I think this is pretty cool. Um, all these have to fit inside a rover, and make. It must be habitable. All of these. All of these things or all of these things. I don't all of these have to fit inside. All these functions, all these requirements, right? Because when I see these, I'm thinking these are physical things that have fit inside. Just I mean you show me boxes, I'm assuming they're boxes. Um 
and this is like your thesis statement. This is a pretty big statement because you, you lay the groundwork and then you tell me how it's important. All these have to fit inside the rover and make it and must be habitable. I would say, you know, you designed it up to four people. Rover must be able to fit up to four people. Got it. Uh, all right. Past sleep setups. You know, I'm kind of curious why you're putting above, above, below, bottom, right. What do you want me to know from this information? Probably that it's not very comfortable. Um, also, you know, if you always put the little blurb of text on the bottom, so if that's bottom left, that's bottom left, that's bottom right, that's bottom right, um, you'll know, probably get it. Am I going intriguing? Weightless sleeping is difficult. That's what you're trying to tell me, right? And then instead of describing the photo, describe why it's difficult. Uh, equilibrium's off. I don't know. You're the uh, the expert here, but you, I mean, tell me what you want to tell me instead of like beating around the bush. No pun intended. Um, tell me what you want me to tell me. Get rid of these dots. Get rid of that dash. Um, I would also like space between these two, just to keep it consistent with everybody else. Um, experiences are tough, and you know they're tough to deal with. How can we give astronauts the best experience? How can we be most ac accommodating to astronauts? Astronauts' um, work-life balance. How can we provide um, the best form of accommodations for the worst case scenario? I don't know. I think we could say that, that phrase a little bit better. Okay. Maybe it, it's a bit much for the page. Uh, I think we could lighten it up just a tad. I'm still not going to read your stuff because reading doesn't come first. Looking comes first. Um... So you do a lot of spatial studies, maybe a lot of storage studies, and then we get into other things. I'm wondering why we went that direction. Uh, this is drawing my attention a bit too much. Knock that guy back some. All right, cool. I mean, you might want to mention that first, who your team members. Um, and this thing's, it's awesome. Minus a little distraction there, a little Photoshop, kill that off. Um, but the reason why you build models is what? To learn from them. So I'm more interested in, all right, you made it. What did you learn? You built full-scale volumetrics to explore X. We learned that we needed more, we needed less. We learned that, you know, we got it right the first time. Or you learned that the bedding system, like poor sleep equals just poor work. So our priority one is making sure the sleeping situation is good. Also, I don't like that guy being overlapped. So full-scale model. If you tell me it's about the bedding system, and boom, we flip over and say bedding system. You ain't got to tell me it's a bedding system. You kind of set up the joke, and then boom, you got it. I think this would be more dope at full spread. I mean, full bleed. Full bleed that entire image. And then I don't want to use these arrows. I'd rather you use uh, like an illustrator area, arrow, which it probably is, but put a little curve on it. Make it seem a bit more, I don't know, drawn, stylistic. Nice outfit. Mm, pretty good Photoshop, too. Personal area. What do you mean, personal area for each bunk? Is it hanging? Is it Velcroed? No, I don't know. It's good that you described it, but I'm still a bit curious. Uh, so this is you standing him, pushing him up. That's you laying down. Uh, just curious. You're not the tallest of guys, but you seem to fill that bed out. Um, 
And then somebody might ask the questions, yeah, that is not enough support to hold these beds up. Um, volumetric study, the difference in gravity on Mars. So, I mean, obviously this is a really cool project. I'm just gonna build it out a bit more. All right, ceiling fans are the same thing. Six feet. Fly with a project, something like that. Hey, let's take the word power and throw it to the next line. The reason is you'll see this kind of offset. It's about a quarter inch, quarter inch, eighth inch, eighth inch, and this has almost no offset. By throwing power. I think visually it'll match a little bit better. Mm, this needs to be written. What if there was something beyond a generator in the home already that could be utilized when the power is out? It just seems ambiguous, like something in already at the two things that I want to kill and replace with different different verbiage. Like what are the human needs uh, when power is out? How do you increase um, homestead comfort when power is lost? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to provide comfort or are you trying to store energy? Maybe something between the two. I was looking at if there's a color scheme you can already introduce to this. Even it's subtle. Um, I don't know. Go to, what is that, Adobe Color? Pick a three color scheme. Drop it in subtlety around here. Just, you ain't gotta do it. I'm just curious if this would look a bit more interesting if it wasn't color. Focus group. Are there two different focus groups giving you two bits of information? Also, I would like these to be a bit bigger. Ugh. Also, do you ever use that? Do you ever use this font any other time? I feel like you just threw in another style and I don't think that's necessarily necessary. All right, so before you go to sketch ideation, you got to tell me why we're jumping there. Because you throw ceiling fans in here. Do you show up before? All right, once again, new home permits. People don't know this, you gotta rewrite it, write it a bit differently. So, um, 1.2 million homes to be built in the next five years. I get that. Um, it just seems like you jump. I know it's a fan project, but you gotta leave me a bit better. These things are out, what could we do? Could we use an existing um, motor in the home to develop backup power? Yeah, I'm trying to think how many motors do I have in my home? I got my AC unit, I got my fans. Yeah, that's it, those are the two motors I have in my house. So maybe that's a good way to kind of slide into, slide into the DMs. Um, focus group, you've got to tell me exactly what you got from this focus group. I like having this information in here. Um, I'd rather see 50-50. So that takes up half, that takes another half. It's just by being this size, I can't really appreciate what's going down. Sketch ideation. All right, so we've decided that fans are the smartest option. 
little Photoshop there. Uh, let's see. Erase this text. Write it like handwrite it in a Cintiq. I'll let you in the building. Um, legibly what you're thinking as you're developing. I know you did it. I just can't read it. If I can't read it, I can't appreciate it. So write small little blurbs about what worked and what didn't work. And then even that, so you're continuing the same style. Turbines that spin and capture energy as the fan rotates. Um, just a design question. Like, Wouldn't that, if you're using the power to spin this, how are you storing the power? Typically you need a battery, like AC-DC battery. So, just curious. Model making, you ain't got to tell me it's model making. I know it's, I know it's model making. Um, I would call it a volumetric study, because at least you're trying to get something out of it. If your purpose is to make a model, to make a model, congratulations. But I'm still wondering, what do you learn from each phase and how does that progress you to the next step? CAD modeling, right? So let's say I learned something from this. I changed the CAD model to resemble uh, my findings and then I put it back in context. One, two, three, four, five. The weird thing is, so right a line, right a line, left, right, left, left. I'd like them all to be consistent. How could we do that? Yeah, we could do this. So everything's gonna be left aligned. But Ben, what about this one? Just mirror it. We're not gonna be able to tell the difference. So one, two, everything's left, upper left corner aligned. Okay, you're missing. Ugh. I know it's a tough one to, to Photoshop. You need to say that earlier. The sense of hope. I mean, it should be here in the concept stage or in the information stage. We're like, all right, so we have this backup power. How are we going to use it? What do people really want during these things? And you're talking, you know, storms rolling in, um, and you can't see the basic things you need to see. So it justifies. Like I don't know if you're using it as a fan, or using it as a light source, or you're using it for both. Uh, there's got to be some subtle way you can put some ambient light in these photos, because it's your, it's your, it's your drive to show me. Uh, what the dream is and if you can't show me I'm never gonna get there all right make that one better that's gotta be shown earlier that way at this point what I really want to see is it's like 9 p.m. it's storming outside you can tell it's storming like via a street light and there's some kids playing Monopoly or Uno underneath this light that's what I want to see see nettle throwback all right so you got to be consistent. So let's see what you threw last time. Um, so what is it and how long did it take? What is it and how long did it take? So this is exploration of luminosity or light penetration or um, light and form study, something like that. The most interesting thing about this project is, of course it looks cool, but there's a manufacturing component. So let's not forget to visit that again. These sketches could be redone. Just, you have them already, just go over them. Could be a good excuse to jump on the computer so you can do some cat, uh, not cat renderings, but some hand, what are they called? Sketchbook Pro, Photoshop renderings. Clean them up a little bit. This is, I, it's seeing too much on here, I like that you're showing me the process. Um, what I really want to know is you threw out a pattern, you ran the cost and said, ah, that's, that's too expensive. Then how did you change it? And then how did you improve it? Because that really shows like problem solving issues. Um, hmm. That looks good. I say you're kind of borderline on too many. That should be the final. I'd probably show this guy and I'm not digging that guy. That looks good. Lower left hand corner, not so much. I would trade, yeah. The lower left hand corner, we'll go here. Um, then that's your final one. So, sketching, manufacturing, show me how you brought the price down, simplify this page, man, like a 50 50 split. So you have your beginning thing, your acrylic, your thoughts, your improved one. 
cost thoughts ah uh, this guy hey keep it the same thing how long what is it let's center align that underneath this body of text and we've got to improve that we got to make this more you um, it's like a basic uh, basic leader so my vote sideways triangle make it 50% gray because this shouldn't draw my attention this and this and right now they both seem a little busy it could be just this guy right you're being a bit sexist his or her come on now what year is it I feel the same thing about this. Every time you come in and do ends that with an I, strength is misspelled. Go ahead and hit command or control on all your portfolio projects. Uh, the sketches on these can work. It's just when I'm seeing sketches, I want to see more hand done stuff. So you can leave that as you can leave that, but I would go back and rewrite these legibly. Handwriting. It just feels like it goes to better when you have hand done sketches and handwriting. Model making. Mm, it's like we got this kill model making. Like I know what you're doing. You ain't got to tell me. Um, I would scale that up. Make sure these lines meet. Um, this feels funky as well. I might also kill this image off. What I want to do is make that image a bit bigger. Bring this text maybe down there. Or maybe if you got rid of this, this would not look so weird. It's just like it feels forced um, some way. And this is me being crazy. Like, this is a point size thicker than that one. You can test it. I think I'm right. Um, all right. So I first tried MDF. To study size and proportions I learned to maximize both weight and space I moved to metal uh, I wouldn't call it titanium because there's like I mean you call it aluminum it starts the same function think of a titanium uh, Fulcrum model of a divider and you're showing it upside down so it puts me out of context that page uh, also, once again, do full bleed and bring that all the way down so it hits that line that we don't have to Photoshop so much. If you say Home Depot's a bucket, maybe get a little Home Depot thing. Pickle bucket. Is that a joke? I don't know. Why did you cut this little thing in there? Is that going to reduce the amount of space you have? Or is it functional? Like, does it prevent you from getting a seal and getting stuck? Also, get that thing fixed. Come on. Uh, I would say one statement, not two statements. Maglock finish allows for easier cleaning of track. Really, gloss cleans better than matte. You know, matte has more of a porous appeal, but a porous presentation to it. All right. So, I mean, this is by far the best one you have so far of... Photoshop composite. I'm a bit relentless. Now I want two of them. So one using it and then one of a guy carrying it with his tools in it. Just take it as you will. All right. Let me see if I can finish this out. You can't be the scope of everything. It's never the scope of everything. You're working on a... Uh, that, the charge was to increase efficiency, organization, and craftsmanship. You looked at all these things. You decided that a bucket. So how did you get from, yeah, here's the problem. How do we save it? How do you get to bucket? One is the, sp the cost savings. You have something that's already made that people are using, but it's not really sophisticated. So I might show the current solutions, which is very much like this. 
and say, this is good, but how do we take it to the next level? Maybe instead of these, I see a sequence of use. So you take three different sized ones, as noted by this, three different drop-ins. You boom, 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 you put them in there, you throw your tools in, tools in, and then you're off to go. Okay, hopefully I've given you something of worth.